uh, the uh, population of uh, foxes and a population of uh, rabbits. How many foxes there are and how many rabbits there are. Those, those, those are the only two, two variables that you study. And um, you know, the more foxes there are, there are the, more the, <laughs> the more foxes there are to eat rabbits, but uh, the more rabbits uh, there are, the, um, the more there is for the foxes to eat and, and so on. And we're going to be concerned with the um, increases and decreases of um, populations of foxes and rabbits um, in southern England from 1850 to 1900. Uh, number of foxes at a given time, well time, number of foxes and, and number of, um, of rabbits or a or number of predator species in the predator population, a number in the prey population. That, you know, if the, if at one, you know, one time we have 199 rabbits and then, you know, the next day we have 200 rabbits, there's going to be an intermediate time at which we have 199.5 rabbits. And the number of rabbits is 199.5 in reality. So, and because, because, we, we, um, we're asking how many rabbits, and 199.5 is a cardinal number. It's an answer to the question, how many. Um, so, I mean, that's just a kind of a relatively trivial example. 